Municipalities such as those in Johannesburg, Pretoria and Cape Town, which is largely your metros, uh, can now apply to generate their own electricity provided that they've paid their ESCOM bill in full. It comes after Mineral and Energy Resources Minister Gwede Mandashe published new regulations governing electricity generation in the Government Gazette. The new regulations require that municipalities apply to the minister and procure energy or buy new energy capacity capacity in accordance with the integrated resource plan. Joining us now is Jacob Mbele, who is the Deputy Director for General, Direct, Director General, that is, for Programs and Projects at the Mineral Resources and Energy Department. Mr. Mbele, good evening, and thanks for your time on, on the show. L let's talk about this uh, the alignment between the buying of mun with the buying of municipalities uh, when it comes to energy procurement, does that mean that, as is suggested in the integrated resource plan, there needs to be a diverse mix of energy? Does that mean that there's going to be a limit to how much municipalities can procure energy from ESCOM, from IPPs or solar energy? Mr. Mbele, just making sure that you can hear me. Apologies, I lost you for a moment there. I didn't get the Sure, last no part problem. I'll just, I'll, I'll just repeat the question. I was asking in terms of alignment between the municipalities proc procuring their own energy and the integrated resource plan. Does that mean that there's going to be a limit on the types of energy that municipalities can procure in line with the mix that has been put out in the, in, in the IRP? Um, first, uh, good evening, Kathy, and good evening to the viewers. No, there is no limit to the capacity that the municipalities can procure. They are the ones that will bring a business case forward and make a case for what they want to procure. Uh, insofar as the technology is concerned, yes, um, there is a limit in a sense that, but more of a consideration in a sense that the IRP is put together, taking into account a number of um, considerations, and those include uh, emissions, because um, we are signatory to the Paris Agreement, and whatever um, uh, energy sources that we use will have to align with our long-term view in terms of how we intend to reduce emissions from the sector. How will the application process work? The application process will be will work in a manner that the municipalities will uh, request a Section 34 from the Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy. And um, one of the requirements that we have put in place is that municipalities, those applications must be accompanied by a feasibility study. And this feasibility study is nothing more than what municipalities already do when they undertake a PPP projects. There is a requirement in terms of treasury regulations that they have to undergo a certain process to make sure that the projects are feasible and are within what the municipalities can, can afford. So that will be one of the requirements. Once the minister has determined that the municipality qualifies, he will then uh, pass the determination to the regulator because by law the regulator is expected to consider the determination that the minister issues and undergo its own process before concurring. So that is the process that um, we have put in place. Will there be any attention paid to the companies who are given the, these contracts? So does it matter which companies the city of Joburg or even the city of Cape Town is procuring this energy from? Um, it is our view that the current processes that National Treasury has put in place under the PPP framework will deal with those uh, issues and make sure that whatever is procured is within um, the PFMA and the MFMA, which is the Municipal uh, Finance Management Act. Sure, but I mean beyond, of course it needs to be within uh, the, P the PFMA rules and framework, but, but beyond that, uh, will, will there be no further considerations made by the department? So are you going to be looking at the number of black businesses that are getting uh, some of these contracts? Are you going to be looking at white businesses that are getting these contracts? The, Kathy, in terms of um, the different spheres of government, um, 
local government is a different sphere on its own and municipalities are governed in terms of procurement by a different arrangement. So that will be a requirement at municipal level. Hence, I would say the prevailing um, requirements at that level will be um, the triple PFA that um, is um, the preferential procurement framework that is in place and all other, all other codes that uh, municipalities are expected to comply with. How soon are you expecting to sign off on the first application that would potentially be made to the minerals department? We are ready to process applications. So as soon as we receive requests from municipalities, we will make sure that uh, we turn them around in the shortest uh, possible time. Do you see this as being the end of ESCOM's monopoly over energy supply in this country? It's, it's, in, in, it's not necessarily about ESCOM monopoly, but we see this as a move towards what has happened um, across the world where um, you know, the market is deregulated. Yes, uh, it is a move towards uh, that kind of uh, setting in the long run. And of course, much of what it will do is that it will help many uh, municipalities to grow their revenue base, especially where um, power is stable, because that in itself becomes an incentive to, to business. So what are you looking at as some of the offshoots of this decision? What, what we are seeing here, uh, we're seeing an opportunity for local communities to play into the energy space. I think one of the issues that has been coming forth all the time is that the utility scale renewable energy program that we've been running um, has mainly been dominated by international players and uh, smaller projects are projects that will be feasible for locals to, to take advantage of. And I mean, some of these projects um, include, um, you know, waste to energy. Uh, it includes um, uh, biogas and, 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 and others. So we believe that this will open up a, an opportunity for many local players. All right, Mr. Jacob Mbele, let's leave it there for tonight. He is from the Mineral Resources and Energy Department.